Bruh. It's time for the Raider wrap up. Last Friday during homecoming, our Raiders rocked those rhythms. They won 31 to 28. This past Tuesday, our volleyball team played, fought badly, but unfortunately lost to Overton. Our Lady Raiders soccer team won 6 to 0. And this Friday, our varsity team plays at Hillsborough, so come out and support your Raiders, guys. What influenced your idea of Rock the Rebels? Well, usually whatever theme we have, it kind of relates to like the mascot of whatever team we're playing. So we all kind of came up with Rock the Rebels. And the best way to go with that was a like rock and roll theme. And so we thought the best thing DDC could do for a float with a rock and roll theme was a live band playing on the trailer. We used a lot of help for this, like for our float, because we had to get a all the instruments, we had to get all of the sound equipment, and we had to decorate it. So we used Mr. Akindo, all the student council executive board members in DDC, the band, and a little help from my dad. Thank you. Um, it definitely feels good to be a winner because all of the hard work that we put into building it and all the hard work we put into decorating it and making it happen and going out and buying all the candy and stuff and through people, like, it just, even though a lot of the stuff that we did was that day, like that Friday of homecoming, we really pulled it all together and everyone else's floats just couldn't come up to par with ours, so it was good. This Saturday, the band has our first competition at Henry County High School, and make sure you go follow us on Instagram at McGavickHSBand.